Good morning, guys. See something different? <laughs> I got a new creamer. I have been searching high and low for peppermint mocha. Peppermint mocha is one of my favorite, favorite flavors. I love peppermint and I love mocha. And even better than my other creamer, it has less calories and I can actually have two tablespoons for the price of one. So two tablespoons of that went into my coffee for one point. So moving on to breakfast, I was so hungry this morning. I decided to make a breakfast sandwich using some new things. So I have two eggs scrambled. I added a handful of baby spinach, and then I'm going to cook three of these slices of Canadian bacon. Three slices is one point. You can use one slice, two slice, or three, but three is a serving, so that's what I went with. And then look at this. Brand new 647 English muffins. One of these is two points. And here are the macros. Look at the fiber. Look at everything. It is just perfect at 80 calories. So this is what I'm going to use for the base of my breakfast sandwich. And I am so excited to eat it. And oh my gosh, when I saw this on the shelf in the grocery store, I was absolutely taken back. This is sliced black bear yellow American, pricey at three points a slice, but I'm going for it because the eggs and sausage have zero, uh, the eggs and spinach, excuse me, have zero points. So everything in the frying pan right now is three points and I'm fine with that. I am going to take a lid though and cover it so the cheese melts. Into our toaster oven here, I'm going to put the English muffin and let it cook. And here's what it looks like when it's done nice and lightly toasted, putting that into my plate and <laughs> reaching back for the other one, putting it into the plate. Here we go. So now it's time to assemble. Since those ham slices are pre-cooked, I did put them in the microwave for about 30 seconds just to warm them up. That's the first layer. Then I remove the lid of the frying pan. Now to get this to fit on top, what I'm going to do is take my spatula and I'm going to slice that egg in half and place it on the sandwich. I do wanna show you though, when I put the lid on, what the flame looks like. It's not jacked and really high, it's just kind of at medium. All right, so here's another angle. I'm getting ready to get the eggs out of the frying pan here. I did cut it in half, and then each half I folded over so that it would fit on top. Look at this, hot egg, spinach, and melted whole fat American cheese. Can you get any better than this? This is a Jersey girl's breakfast delight. Here's the viewpoint. Now, I would just eat it as is, but I love ketchup. So I chose to use some sugar-free ketchup. I'm going to the refrigerator to pull that out right now. A full tablespoon of this ketchup is zero point, so I am gonna do a little squirt on each. I guess I guess I could have measured it out, but I can pretty much, oops, sorry about the camera. I can pretty much eyeball what a tablespoon of this is. And there it goes, right on top of the sandwich and all over the plate. Watch this. <laughs> my, my squirt was not aimed properly, but who cares? There's ketchup in the plate. I decided to make it look pretty though, so I took a napkin after I used my finger and I wiped out the plate for you guys. I'm a mess! Anyway, it doesn't matter because it was absolutely delicious. And then to add something, just to top it off, I love a piece of fruit every now and then and I thought a mandarin orange would go perfectly with this meal. This was actually like a medium sized one. It wasn't very small. And here are the macros, or the points rather, for this beautiful breakfast, seven points. So now I'm in the mood for a shake. So I took the Premier Protein Chocolate Peanut Butter Cup flavor, which is off the charts delicious. I would recommend it if you've never had it. And I was kind of in the mood for a shake instead of just drinking it out of the pouch. So I added some ice to my Nutribullet cup and I blended it up and it came out so nice and thick and absolutely delicious. Not bad for a two point snack.
right, guys, it's lunchtime. I made some tuna and avocado, cucumbers, lettuce, and I did a lettuce mix. It's a spinach um, and baby lettuce mix. Here it is. I get it at BJ's. You could use whatever you like. I was just, I don't know, I'm in the mood for salad a lot lately. So I did the usual. I mixed the tuna and the avocado. Uh, here's the dressing I use. This is no stranger. If you're familiar with my channel, I love this stuff. Here's the macros on the back. I'll show you the points values in just a minute with everything, but this is just the most satisfying lunch. Uh, was able to carry me through the day. And now I'm going to show you just a little bit of holiday decor. putting some kind of garland or a wreath up here. Let me know if I should or not. All right, guys, here's dinner. It's another salad, just quick and easy. Trader Joe's, 96% lean ground beef, some vegetables, some G Hughes, and that was dinner. So a nice, easy day, I guess you could say. Anyway, I just want to show you some pics of Molly. She has made such a recovery. The veterinarian, everyone's astounded. We don't know how or why, but I am convinced that the power of prayer has helped my girl. So thank you, all of you, from the bottom of our hearts for praying for sweet Molly because she's doing so well. Anyway, guys, that's the video for tonight, and I will see you tomorrow for weigh-in. Have a great night.